Welcome to today's class for healing yoga. And if you have a blanket or a bolster handy, or even a pillow, it could be a sofa pillow or whatever you like, we may utilize that later on. We're going to begin seated either on your mats or on a chair and start with a little breathing practice. Just come into ourselves. Just kind of sit back, settle into your comfortable seated position. And let's begin with the breath as we always do. And today, this will be a, the EF, or what's called Sama Vritti, which means equal Sanskrit. And the premise of this breath is to make the inhale the equal amount of counts as the exhale. So for instance, we typically start with four. So as we breathe in the nose, just use your own count of four. And then exhale out the mouth or the nose, whatever feels right for you but exhaling out through the mouth helps release any excess energy or tension within the body. So we'll sit here quietly for a couple of minutes, inhaling through the nose and out the mouth or the nose. Think of that or maybe yours is a five count, maybe it's a three count on either side. But what this does over time is build lung capacity. Drawing in fresh oxygen. And then slowly exhaling any excess. Notice the rise and fall of the chest. It's very subtle. Feel the groundedness of your sit bones, your feet if they are indeed making contact with the earth. outer thighs if seated on your mat. Four count in, four count out. And again, if you don't feel like that count is sufficient, use your own count. Just make sure you're fully inhaling and fully exhaling. Now for the next 10 rounds of the exhale, we'll Incorporate that s, that S sound for the exhale. This is releasing any pent up grief or fear or anger. All of these emotions can get mixed in together and be very confusing.
number six. Notice any emotions that may come up. You may notice your throat gets a little tickly or you may need to cough. Um, lots of things come up. <clears throat> it's a good lung clearing practice of the breath. Let's do one more. And then just move to your in the nose, out the mouth breathing pattern. Take about three deep breaths. Notice how you feel at this time. Let's just weak the arms. Remember those figure eights. They help cleanse our energy field as well as bind the, the energy within our field to keep all of the energy systems working together and communicating with each other. Continue in the nose, out the mouth. One more sweep of the arms. And continue that breath in the nose, out the mouth while we do the wake up with our finger pads or the notched fingertips. Find your collarbone, those protruding bones here and move down an inch. Tap, thump or massage. Breathing in the nose and out the mouth, waking up our entire meridian system. Shake it off, flick the fingers, move to your sternum. Bringing in those Killer T cells, like that shot of vitamin C. This is great to do every day, several times a day, as is the wake up. If you do no other practice during your day, doing the wake up will help to clear your energies and keep the energy moving forward and crossing over, which are the two directions energy needs and wants to move. So now we'll move to our spleen just beneath the breasts, right at the rib cage, tap, thumb or massage, spleen, metabolizing and digesting our thoughts, experiences, food. Sometimes you'll notice a little soreness, maybe on one side and not the other. Rub that a little bit more. That's going to move that lymph out into the venous supply for elimination. Continue that breath in the nose, out the mouth, shake off the hands, and then move to your cheekbones. Tapping or massaging, grounding, related to the stomach meridian, which begins right here on our cheekbones. Breath the nose, out the mouth, I'm really trying to ignore this fly buzzing around in my room. <laughs> Pause for a moment and just sink, sink in. Let those four thumbs sink in. One more deep breath in the nose, out the mouth.
and then just slapping one thigh and then the other. About four rounds here. And then dust off the hands, cross over that energy. 10 to 12 rounds. Again, even just doing this daily will continue to help keep those energy lines crossed over for optimum energy levels within our bodies. Shake it off. Hands hover over the root or the pubic bone here. We say an intention. You could be as specific as you like or just have, a, have something in mind. It does not matter. We don't need to overthink. Just zip that in to seal your energy field and sweep it out. Zipping up is great to do before you go into a group of people or into an unknown situation. Just helps protect your own energy with those magnetic passes. Three times I may have done Two or three, I don't even remember, I lost count. Let's do the hookup now. Middle finger in the belly button, the opposite in between the brows. Lengthen, exhale. Draw the belly button in and up. Exhale. And this is also good to set an intention to clear the aura and to think about any time you're working with any uh, yoga poses when you are using your core, which is everything. So it's just a good thing to think about for keeping the core gently engaged. So there was the wake up, we'll shake that off. And for unscrambling our energies or finding our words, we'll uh, sit and do what's called the Wayne Cook. So I'm doing this from the chair today. We've done that standing up for the schoolyard hookup. Today we'll do it seated. So I've got one leg crossed over. So whatever leg is crossed over the ankle, that same side hand goes over the balls of the feet. Opposite hand simply comes right to the ankle. So as we breathe in, we'll exhale out. Breathe in. Exhale out three more times. Inhale, releasing, letting go. One more time. Shake that off and switch the cross. So again, opposite leg, opposite arm. Same arm as the leg is crossed, goes over the balls of the feet. Inhale, exhale out the mouth. Shake that off. Let's just do a couple neck stretches before we stand up and do a couple more techniques here. So we'll just take fingertips to the side, draw the ear down toward the shoulder, the opposite hand on the other shoulder to lengthen that stretch. You can also extend that arm out thumb up or palm up, breathe into that space where you're feeling the deepest breath. Again, I invite you to breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Maybe you want to practice that equal breath or just that in the nose, out the mouth or your natural breath. 
whatever that may be for you today. Other side, breathe. back center roll the shoulders up back and down let's do this three to four times really squeeze up toward the ears press back and set those shoulder blades in your back pockets so this s breath this is associated with the season of autumn in Chinese and the element is metal. It is the balancing emotion, of course, is letting go and the challenging emotion is grief. So at this time of the year, when we're seeing all the leaves come from the trees, it just brings us sometimes a sense of sadness or grief, or maybe we're reminded of someone we've loved and lost. It just seems kind of a, a falling away time, if you will. So in order to counteract that or to work with it and release is breathing it out. So that S breath can help us do that. The lungs and the large intestines are, the large intestine are governed by the season of autumn, again in Chinese medicine. So we're gonna to work to clear some of those lymphatic points. Right in between the breasts, we have several lung points. And if we gently press here, it may be a little sore, we're just working to release any lymph that might be stuck. So we can, again, send it out through our venous supply for elimination. If it's a little sore, you may rub it some more and, and drink lots of water. <clears throat> if you've never done this before and these points are really sore on you, you may be a little bit, feel a little bit ucky um, later on but that is just your system detoxing. So doing this daily for uh, whenever you think about it during this time is a good way to detox. There's also a gallbladder point in between the breasts along with the lung points that you can catch at the same time. Let's flick that off. And then another lung point, we just take the hands beneath the armpits and where our thumbs land, right about here, is another lung point, another lung neurolymphatic point. So we massage there. And again, it may be a little bit sore. We're breathing in through the nose and out through the nose of the mouth, knowing we can make any sound we like. That is the sound that is associated with this season. So we're just kind of focusing on that today. Now these points are a little sore on me today, so I'm just gonna massage them a little bit more. Breathing. And then shaking off and flicking off the fingers. Remember that um, removes excess energy and it also stimulates meridians that begin or end in our fingertips, which they do. And now we're going to work for on our large intestine clear. So I'll stand just to demonstrate this a little bit here. So right at the top of the leg pit, the hip, if we have tendencies toward um, constipation then we'll start here and I just like to use this flat part between the vein knuckles and that first joint 
and press and move down. If we have a tendency toward loose stools, we'll start just above the knee and pull up toward the leg pit. Again, if we have trouble with constipation, moving from the leg pit down to just above the knee joint. And if you have a uh, balanced constitution, it doesn't matter which way you go. But we want to do it four to five times each side with some pressure. It doesn't feel very good. Just follow the inseam of your pants, inseam and outer seam, coming down. Four to five passes. The large intestine neurolymphatic is located on the outer thigh the small intestine on the inner thigh. So we're moving that. And again, it doesn't necessarily feel very good, but it is very effective. Shake that off once you're done with one side and move to the other. Again, keeping that breath going. And whatever sound comes to you for releasing, that's right for you today. Now you can also do this seated just like this and then shake it off. And now we'll come to standing. And if standing is an issue today, you can move this seated. These are just gentle opening back bends for releasing and this is the peak pose for autumn and it's called human touching divine so as we stand here in our mountain pose we think about all that we love and all that we care about place our hands on our thighs slowly draw the hands up and open the arms in that gentle back bend here. And as you begin to circle the arms toward each other, we make an incomplete circle. It is the sound of letting go. Open up once again and think about everybody, everywhere in the universe, knowing we can't take on all the world's problems. So we're gonna release that with that S breath. Once again, bringing the fingers to an incomplete circle, just close. This last breath, open up to divine and Think of releasing all that's weighing us down, all the grief that we hold. This time, one hand over the other, it does not matter which one. And we bring the arms down, placing those hands over those lung points that we visited a little bit ago. Take two to three breaths with the out breath of Once again, let's move through that. Opening up, inhale and exhale to release to that incomplete circle. Open up about chest level this time. Back bend, draw that belly button in and up. And the third time, open up, release it all to divine. Hand over hand, human touching divine. Hands rest.
Now we'll do that one more time without me speaking. Standing in your mountain pose, hands on the thighs, sweep up, bring hands to her high chair, if that's available, or just seated in a chair, heaven connecting earth. Reach up, flat palm toward the heavenlies, the other toward the earth into a lateral side stretch and back down. Remember any of these can be done from seated as well. Remember your breath. Focus on the breath first. That will be your best guide through any practice and through any situation. One more round. <clears throat> Hands center, stand tall. Fear, fear of the unknown. Look for inspiration as you open to heaven rushing in. Weave the arms and then wrap the arms. Maybe they go like this. Maybe the hand, back of the hands come together or perhaps coming all the way around. It does not matter. Just making one cross is just fine if that is what is available for you today. As we stand, bend the knees slightly or simply sit down the legs and ankles or just cross the leg or just the ankles. Lots of different options here. Or from standing, we can cross the leg. And then draw the arms up, exhale down. Once again. Uncross and switch. Unwind, shake that up. Now either standing or seated. If we're standing, soften knees and maybe hinge forward a little bit. Seated, we can be on our chair. 
the knees a little wider and place hands here. Exhale and drop one shoulder, gazing up over the opposite shoulder. If standing, we'll take that wide horse stance, hinge, and then dip that shoulder down, breathe, and come back to center. Other side. Drawing that belly in and up. Let's do that one more time to either side. And back. And then come back up. Coming to our seated position. Once again, let's cross one ankle over the other. Holding on here, sitting up tall. Lead with the navel as you hinge. That hinge happens at where the hip and the leg meet versus a bend, which comes from the waist. So you should feel a nice stretch along your glute. You might feel a little bit in the low back. If it's too much in the low back, come out of it and really draw that belly button in and up to engage through the core. Breathe here. One more deep breath. Nice little hip opener there. We carry a lot of tension in our hips and the hips are, are kind of the seat of uh, emotions. So think about that one for just a moment. Let's switch sides. Take, draw in a deep inhalation. Belly expands, exhale. Hinging forward, perhaps just staying in that place where you feel challenged, but not overdoing. One more breath. And now I'll we'll make our way either to the, we can stay in the chair or on the floor, but I'm going to show you a couple little things. We do um, the bean with head heel typically from the floor, kind of from the kneeling position. And if you need padding for your knees, if that is um, uh, difficult, Many people have difficulty being on their knees. So if that's very difficult for you, you can sit here in your chair and be here. So this, I'll demonstrate this. We put our elbows down, rub the palms together, warming up the hands, 
Remember, palming is palming. And then we can just place our head in our hands. And then there's another option we can do here, placing our forearms on the chair, holding the head. Or I've got the sofa over here. It's a little softer surface for holding hands over our eyes here. Just taking several breaths. And then there's always, of course, the original option from the floor on our mats. Eighty percent of tension comes in through the eyes. So this pose goes a long way for releasing tension throughout the entire body. Take about two to three more breaths there. And as you feel ready, coming back up. And if it is available to be on your knees for here, we'll go into what's called triple, downward facing triple diamond. Now we can also do this from a chair. I'll show you that one first. Chair, bringing the soles of the feet together knees wide, placing this little diamond shape, or I say a little pine tree, place the thumbs on either side of the bridge of the nose, elbows are out wide, creating a diamond. And then we come forward and rest down there for several breaths for releasing grief. This is a good posture for releasing grief. This is one option or modification. There's also the knees out and the toes in toward each other. Again, that diamond or tree shape. And place the head down here on a chair. And then there's the option for coming down onto your mat you may want a bolster or a pillow between the legs and then place the head down. Thumbs alongside the bridge of the nose and release. Using the breath, that breath is beneficial in this pose. So five more breaths. When you feel complete, slowly make your way up 
and we'll extend our legs out in front of us. And we'll come on to our back sides for a little moving bridge pose. Another great way for releasing toxins from our body. So once we're on our back sides, let's revisit those lung points in between the breasts. Press in through there. Shake it off. We're going to go back to that. Arms along our sides. As we lift the hips a couple inches up, arms come overhead, and then we exhale down. Lift the hips up, and arms come down. Two more. Lift. And lower. Last time, lift. This time, if you're able, keep the hips lifted, arms along our sides, and work between releasing the glutes that like to default to holding on there, and then engage. Release and engage. Release. Engage. This helps to strengthen those supporting muscles along the spine. And breathe one more time. Then bring the fingertips back to the, those lung points in between the breasts. And then move your hands to that farmer John. Beneath, hands beneath the armpits, thumbs on those lung points, massage there. I'm sitting up to demonstrate once again. And then flip those fingers out. Draw the knees into the chest. Take a deep inhale. Exhale as you lift up, whoosh, blow it out. Back down, inhale, tuck chin, exhale, whoosh. Let it out. One more time, inhale, whoosh. Down. To finish today for your Shavasana, you can use your little bolster here or a block if that's comfortable. Placing it just kind of beneath that sacral area, the sit bones, not in your low back, but a little bit lower so it's supported. Have the hips raised just a little bit, and then you're going to just open up the arms. Maybe the elbows are in a little bit, letting those the backs of the hands fall into gravity and to open, just to be open for letting go and for releasing. I invite you to take the next few minutes to integrate your practice in the Shavasana, choosing whatever position feels good or right for you today.
as you are ready. Begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Bringing awareness back to all those parts of your body that were awakened during this practice. about the release with the breath, the sound. Think about the emotion, the challenging side, the balancing side, the season. Think of the blessings and the grace and the glory. We conclude our practice today, wherever you're seated, however you're seated. Perhaps just cross the hands over the heart center once again, resting over those low points. Draw in a deep inhale through the nose. Let it go out the mouth with that Revisiting this breath the sound a little bit sad or feeling grief. Just walk around and breathe that breath and see if that doesn't give you a little bit of relief and release. We made today with this practice. Namaste.